Welcome to another Photoshop editing tutorial. This time we are going to make this image pop by making use of all the raw file capacities. This means we are going from this rather blown out image to this one. We are going to restore a lot of details in the highlights as well as in the shadows, overall add some more contrast and sharpness and just fix the colors. If you want to follow along as always you can find the raw file in the description of the video. And now let's begin. Of course we are going to do the raw adjustments first, that means we are in the camera raw editor of Photoshop and here I want to start by changing the profile to Adobe Landscape. This will give us support based saturation and it will also brighten up the darkest parts of the image. So that's pretty nice. The whole image is a little too yellow for my taste, so I'm going to fix that by bringing down the white balance temperature and thus we are just introducing some more natural color tones. So like this we still have some warmth going on but we have a nice blue sky which fits perfectly for those sunflower shots. Next up let's work on the exposure. First I'm going to drop the exposure very very slightly. I'm also going to drop the highlights which will mostly restore the details in the sky. And at the same time I'm going to increase the shadows to get back some more details from those darkest parts, especially at the bottom part. Exposure wise, it does look quite good. There is some kind of unexposure going on, but I don't think that's too dramatic. Also, although the histogram says there is no overexposure, of course we still have overexposure around the sun area, but there's really nothing you can do about that. Since the exposure looks quite good for now, I do want to introduce some texture. And at the same time, I do want to bring down the clarity just to give this whole image a softer look. And finally, let's add some vibrance for some more saturation. So after only those few base adjustments, you can see we have a lot more details going on. The colors look much more natural now. And this means we can jump into the local adjustments by doing a few masking things. Let's start this off by working on the sky. For the first step, I do want to target the blue part, which is very, very easy here. I'm just using a color range mask and click somewhere in the blue part of the sky, which will give us a pretty good selection. However, I don't want this effect to go all the way down to the horizon. This means I'm going to hit subtract. Here I'm choosing a linear gradient and just subtract a part of this mask. Just like that. With that out of the way, we are going to drop the exposure and thus we are adding some very cool contrast to this shot. Keep in mind, since we are using a color range mask, there are some weird edges, especially around the sunflower right here. For the print version of this shot, I would be much more careful, but since I am going to only upload that version, I don't think that's a big deal right there. So let's continue by creating another color range mask and this time I'm targeting the yellow of the sunflowers. So I'm clicking right there. Looks pretty good to me, but I still want to refine the selection, giving that yellow color some more range, just like that. And now let's make those sunflowers a little brighter by bringing up the exposure. Also, let's bring up the whites for the same effect. Then we can adjust the colors some more by increasing the white balance temperature. So we just get a more rich yellow tone in here. At the same time, I can bring up the saturation, of course, as well. That is looking pretty good. So next, let's introduce some more glow. Therefore, I'm using a radial gradient and I'm creating just a rather small thin one around the area where the sun is. In here, I am going to drop the dehaze, which will add glow, but also make this area a little brighter. So just be careful of overexposure. And that is looking pretty good. I do want to, however, introduce some temperature, making this area warmer. Perfect. Let's create another radial gradient, this time a little bigger, covering the whole horizon. Just like that. Place the center on top of the sun. In here, I do want to raise the blacks for a little more glow and some more temperature to make this area warmer again. Perfect. 
at this point, I'm still not that happy with the sky. So I do want to use another linear gradient just on top of it like that. And just introduce some clarity to make the clouds pop a little more. And finally, I'm using one more linear gradient for the very near foreground. Here I'm going to drop the whites, introducing some more shadows. And I'm also going to add some clarity for some kind of a really cool contrast. Perfect. So that's the image after the masking adjustments. Compared to before, it's pretty much a completely different image with much more details. Of course, we can do a bit of color grading to further push things. So let's head into the color mixer. I do want to actually start in the luminance tab this time. And to target those yellow sunflowers, I'm going to use the yellow luminance slider and just raise it, making the flowers a little brighter. I am also going to raise the green luminance, which will just make the green parts a little brighter as well. And finally, we can further work on the sky by bringing down the blue luminance. So with those adjustments, we just added some more contrast, which looks great. Now let's head over to the saturation tab and just raise the yellows, the greens, and maybe reduce the blue tones. So that's looking pretty good. Then of course we can apply some split toning. Let's start with the shadows. Here I'm just going to apply a cold color tone somewhere in the blue range with very low saturation. For the highlights, since we are working with the sunset shot, of course I'm going to use a warm color tone somewhere here with much more saturation. Perfect. Then we can head into the effects tab and just add a little vignetting effect. So let's bring that down. Just keep it very, very subtle to not overdo it. While we're down here, we can also head into the calibration tab. Here for some final color grading, I'm going to drop the blue primary hue and also raise the saturation here again. Perfect. So that's pretty much it for the raw adjustments. I do want to sharpen this image, however, in the details tab. So let's do that real quick. Drop the radius, increase the details, add some masking and increase the amount of sharpening. And here we have the image after the raw adjustments. So let's open it up and give it some final retouching. First off, there are a few sensor spots which I want to remove. So I'm going to use the spot healing brush, zoom in and just brush over all those sensor spots. All right, I think we could use some dodging and burning on the shot. So let's create a new layer, switch the blending mode to overlay and to target specific areas, I'm using the TK panel plugin as always. This is a paid plugin, but keep in mind there is a free version available as well with less functions. So what I want to do is to further brighten up the yellow parts of the sunflowers. That's pretty easily selected. I'm just using a color mask. Here I'm choosing yellow, of course. And the TK panel plugin will apply this as a layer mask on the overlay layer. Since we want to dodge things, I'm going to use the white as a foreground color and I'm using a rather low brush opacity and then I'm just starting to carefully paint over the sunflowers. So once I turn off this layer, you can see the difference. It's quite big. I really, really like this effect. We could use some more dodging on the bottom part of those flowers maybe just making them a little more interesting with the light coming from behind. Perfect. Next up, I do want to burn the sky. So again, let's create a new layer once more with the overlay blending mode. And this time we're just going to use the cyan color mask to select the blue part of the sky. Of course, since we want to darken this area, I'm going to use black as the foreground color. And again, lower brush opacity then just brush over the sky. Perfect. All right, then one more thing I want to do is to add a little more glow. Once more, create a new layer, switch the blending mode to hard light this time. 
and set the foreground color to something white with a little warmth like that. I'm lowering the brush opacity even further because this effect is very strong. Now just brushing gently over the horizon. And that's it for editing this sunflower image. I hope this tutorial was helpful and interesting. If you have any questions left, feel free to ask in the comments and thank you very much for watching this video.